Oh, so the next kid to get beat up. Oops, I shouldn't say that. Oops. Oops. Rewind! So the next character to take down. Goku Jr. So his so his whole thing is you gotta use Vegeta family. So it's about it's so it's pretty much just as easy as um it's pretty much just as easy as the Goku family one. Hmm, excuse me. This is my team that I'm pretty much have to run with because I didn't get an LR Vegeta. All right, let's do this. But I have the other two Vegetas that have the Vegeta's family category go thing going, and I'm hoping that this poison stuff, whatever, uh, and wear off, and I can stop rubbing slash scratching myself because it is starting to bother me again and I don't like when it starts to bother me I get really irritated oh yeah what I was going to talk about so I've been a bit I've been kind of getting back into watching well not necessarily into watching it I've been watching watching clips of Naruto again You know, the good stuff, and heck, I'm finding even more good stuff from what it seems, because Boruto seems to have a couple... Boruto seems to have a couple of good things. How oh, dare you slap my wife! How oh, dare you slap my wife again! Die! <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't know, like, Boruto had a couple of good scenes going for it. I never, like... Watching anything, watching anything has been more or less a chore for me. <laughs> just to like sit down and actually watch TV. I've generally just been like, okay, I gotta play some games and I got to upload stuff. That's pretty much been my main focus. It's like, alright, play, record games, edit, upload videos, done. <laughs> Not really watching TV. <laughs> Not even really as background noise. To be honest. It's like if I'm to be fair. Yeah, I've been like, but I've been watching, like, I've been watching Boruto and Naruto bits. I was like, oh wow, these are pretty good. <laughs> I generally count on the game. I generally count on the Naruto games, which they haven't exactly made in quite a while. I generally count on those to just fill me in on the important parts of the series because. Everybody, like, I think everybody and their dog knows that Naruto has a lot of filler. Not as much as Bleach or other, or other animes, but they do have a lot of filler. And they throw it in at the most awkward times. It's kind of funny, like, I can still find, like, some of the old clips of, not, like, of animes I used to watch, like, still on YouTube. You think that they've been removed, but no, they're still there. 
like those still exist. There's been a bunch that have been taken down, but then there's others like, wow, like this is still this still exists. It just went it does kind of like it does remind me how much I did get angry at how much I did get angry at Naruto. At least during Shippuden's timeline. Like, well, at least during Shippuden's bit. When at first it seemed like okay, everything's making sense. At first everything's making sense, like, well, in terms of how they're explaining how power works. Because they're like, okay, well, Naruto, we know that the Nine Tails Chakra is powerful, but you can't be relying on it all the time because you never know what might happen. And it's like, yeah, that's understandable. It's like, the Nine Tails Fox kind of just wants to kill everything at this point. And Sasuke has this, like, Sasuke has these eyes, has the whole Sharingan thing, and that's pretty powerful. So, okay, Naruto ends up learning how to do change in top All chakra right, nature. Let's do this. And the way that it's like, and the way they explained it was legit. It's like, okay, yeah, like this makes perfect sense. Like every, like everything, on, everything made perfect sense. Like, okay, yeah, like I can understand this. Then I can get behind it. It's like, yeah, like, there's no, no problem. Then it goes, okay, it's like, okay, well, elemental jutsus are powerful, but they're not as powerful as sage jutsu. So, uh, Naruto, you need to go learn that. <laughs> so he goes off to learn that. And yeah, he becomes powerful, and that actually brought out like my favorite version of Naruto I've ever seen. Which was sage Naruto. Because <laughs> that fight itself... And I will keep saying this, like, for in terms of Naruto, I'm like, this is like the best Naruto I've seen. Like, this is the best of Naruto I've seen. Like, he's actually smart. He's thinking through everything he does. He's not just go. He's not like he's not just charging in fist first and going pot and then pot no jutsu kicks it to save his butt. Like he's at, like everything he did, at least how the fight, at least how that fight against Pain was, for the most part. It was well choreographed. Like, it was well choreographed, it was well thought out, and I was, I was following it. Even when he went berserk. <laughs> like, even when the guy went berserk, I was following it. I was like, this is my favorite Naruto. Like, I can't fault them. Like, I can't fault them. <laughs> it's like all the other Naruto's are just like, ah! How dare you talk bad about Sasuke? How dare you talk bad about the Heat Pole? How dare you hurt Sakura? How dare you do this? How dare you do that? And this one is just like, yo. He's like, yo, I got this. And I, like, I was just in love for that. Like even for the like even the other characters, things were more or less well thought out. Like I know, I think almost everybody will. Love, I think everybody loves the whole Shikamaru, like Shikamaru and Hidon thing. And yeah, that has to be probably Shikamaru's best moment of him shining. Because, like, everything he did in the second match, well, in the second fight, it was just like, wow. So many ways to do a Shadow Possession Jutsu. There was no, like I had no problem with that. What else was there?
But then, after the whole Sage Jutsu thing, I kind of started seeing a decline for me. I kind of started seeing a decline for me in that series, where it was just like, okay, well, Sasuke is apparently more powerful because he's done this now, and yeah, I could accept that. I could more or less accept that whole Mangekyo Sharingan bit, and the Eternal Mangekyo bit. Like, I like that bit. But then it's got to, okay Naruto, um, Sage Jutsu sucks, so uh, you're gonna learn how to control the Ninetales better. And he does. Which he essentially got a Kaioken. <laughs> Kaioken or Kaioken, whatever, whichever one you want to go with. <laughs> anyway. Naruto gets that and it's just like, oh well, this is kinda cool. And I guess it was more or less just to be like, oh well this is a tribute to uh, Minato, the yellow flash, because now like Naruto's like orange like a yellow orange color and he moves it he moves at the speed of light. But then it's like it got even apparently got even greater because it was just okay. Well, now you need to learn how to control the nine tails better. Do it better. <laughs> so he did. <laughs> and I was just like okay. And then that whole like huge great ninja war bit happened, and I mean the one past Obito. Yeah, spoiler, sorry. And that, I th that is really where I started to fall off. And it, cause it was just like, okay, well, we got everybody versus Madara and Obito. And that's where they just started pulling out the biggest load of crap I've seen. I'm going like, okay, well, where's the thought in any of this? I was like, where's the thought going in any of this? Like, now, Naruto and Sasuke are gods, essentially. <laughs> like, they essentially became gods. And what, what was that woman, Kaguya or whatever? Like, she pops up and she's a whole, like, god thing or whatever. I could not follow any of that, even in the game. Which, the games, they generally do a good job of just summing up, like, all the important stuff. Right? The game, like, the Naruto games, the, well, the Ultimate Ninja Storm games, they essentially just sum up everything that's important and put it in video game format. Sure, the fights aren't exact, but everything is pretty much, this is all you need to know, roll with <laughs> And, like, just to get all back right, on track, like, everything this. is just, like, about power. And I'm like, what the heck, like, so now we're gonna be gods? Okay, like, I guess. Which led to that whole fight of Naruto versus Sasuke for the last time, which we were expecting this. We were expecting this. I didn't expect them to go, like, all the way to pretty much the brink of death. This is how far they went. But it felt like even their whole, like, god power thing was not even strong enough <laughs> at that point. And we're like, what the heck is going on here? Then I see Boruto roll up long and I'm kind of like, eh. The only thing I was concerned with was like, okay, well, how is everybody doing? Like, 
What's my boy Kiva doing? Like, what's... Uh, like, what's Tintin doing? Like, what's Tamari doing? Like, what Like, what are these characters doing? And who married who? And who had kids? And apparently... From what I've... From what I'm seeing is, like, I guess... The Boruto series is just, like, a very like, a much faster Naruto. Because from the clips I've seen of that, I'm like, okay, so they had tuning exams already? I was like, they had, like, they already did tuning exams? Like, okay. And we have these people with un like ungodly powers in play. It's not like they took time and just like powered up and stuff. It's like they're already powerful. Anyway, that's generally my thing about Naruto. I'm I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to like just catch up, see like, and see if maybe there's a new character that I can like follow or get behind. But it doesn't really seem that way. Like I remember my favorite characters back in the originals. It was like I like Kabuto because I was like, oh my god, like it's a dude wearing glasses who's kicking butt. I I can go like I'm rolling with this. Like, I am totally down with this guy. Like, I'm totally down with Kyle Wilson. <laughs> then you had Kiba, which, ninja plus ninja dog, despite his dog looking the way it does, because I, I found that bit weird, but I was like, you know what, whatever. Oh, you slapped his wife again. <laughs> I did find that weird, but I... I would like whatever. <laughs> Who else here? I think I like that entire team. I can't remember their names though. So of course I like Shikamaru because he actually like he was one of those characters that actually used his brain to win fights. I wasn't exactly on board with Sasuke. It was like, okay, yeah, he's smart. But it just felt like, it kind of felt like he was overdone. At least to me. Uh, I'm trying to think who else in that life. Oh, what was that, what was that samurai dude's name, Mifune? Was that his name, the Fune? Right, the let's do the this. samurai? I thought he was actually pretty cool. I actually thought that character was pretty cool. And then, um. Uh, I guess my I would guess my favorite version of Madara is the one that uses those chains, and that was because in the game, no, oh, no, nope, you're getting beat up now. Too fast for you. You're too slow. You're too slow. <laughs> and now I get to now I'm gonna beat up Kakarot's child. Well, Kakarot's grandchild. Ah! <laughs> Anyway, um... Who else did I have? In the uh... Yeah, I like the... I like the Madara or Obito, the one that had the chains. And that was because in the game, like, that, I felt like that was, like, my favorite ultimate jutsu of all... in the entire game. 
Like the dude just like the dude ties you down with chains, and then summons not and then summons Kurama or Nine Tails, whichever name you want to go with, and he just blows like he just blows you to kingdom. Like boom, <laughs> you're done. That was my favorite. <laughs> like that was my favorite. That, that was my favorite move in the game. <laughs> Like, I think I'm kind of done talking about it. I'm trying to think of a favorite fight of mine. Besides Sage Naruto over Spain. Oh, that was that that's an actual memory of Naruto I had. So, there was a time when Naruto was on Disney, <laughs> and that was a hilarious time. That, in all honesty, was a hilarious time, because Disney showed Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> and <laughs> what happened, they actually censored Naruto Shippuden. You wouldn't really know, like... You would have to like literally watch it to know. But yeah, they get they cut off at the point of um, Asuma's death. They actually showed Asuma's death, but they actually censored it as well. So when Asuma dies to heat on, the actual stab that's supposed to kill Asuma, they pan away. The the screen pans away to a picture of a picture of the forest, <laughs> like a picture of the vast forest and mountains, and all you hear is like Shikamaru scream, "Asuma!" He's like, "Asuma!" <laughs> like at the very moment of the stab, they censored that stuff. <laughs> I believe it. I I want to say they also censored uh, Kakuzu's death as well. Because it was like right after the Hidon and Kakuzu bit, they didn't show any more. They just started over ship with him. It was like, okay, we're done. <laughs> They're like, alright, we're done. And eventually Disney. Like, had to let Naruto go. <laughs> like, when you're gonna show us the next one? Well, when are you gonna show us the next bit? Like, we're waiting on pain, and you're not showing it. So that ends that one. I do not have the Zenny, as you can see, to awaken that Goku. Well, Goku Jr. How much do I need? Quite a bit. I mean, 300,000 for the first All awakening. Right. Let's get this started. It costs so much. You're really strong. I'm getting pretty excited. It costs so much to get these guys awake. At least I'm getting dragon stones for it. But yeah, I gotta. Uh, how long do I got? Till Tuesday. Man, that's gonna be quite a bit. I don't like this punch machine stuff. How the heck am I supposed to do 30 million damage? For, for, excuse me. 77,777 77, 
770,000 points of damage on the punch machine. I guess I could do 5 mil. I might be able to pull 5 mil. Anyway, that is done for today. Well, that's done for this video. Next, I gotta go beat up father and son.